Hey guys, today we're gonna do five guitar gadgets you may not know about. Okay, so the first product I wanna talk about is the Strum Buddy. It's a portable guitar monitoring amp. Now that's not unique in any way. There's a lot of small portable battery powered amps, but this one's a little different. So it's a little battery powered uh, speaker that comes with a suction cup. <laughs> and I'm not kidding, eh? Look at that. It's really soft rubber and they claim that it has no marring effects to any finishes. Now I was able to stick it on many of my guitars without seeing any kind of rings or anything. And because of the soft rubber, it doesn't need to have it, uh, sometimes you have to wet these things to get them to stick. This doesn't seem to be the case. So right off the bat, what I love is that it has a micro USB plug to charge up the internal rechargeable battery. It doesn't come with a charger. I think it comes with a cable. Let's take a look one more time. If I recall what it does come with. Yes, I'm correct. It comes with the cable. So you can uh, charge it up with any, pretty much any kind of power source. Uh, that will charge a phone. Then you can plug it in, comes with a cable that goes eighth inch to quarter inch. You plug it in right like so. Once you plug it in, the LED lights up. So it's a green LED. You can go ahead and stick it right there on your guitar. It has clean. It has a reverb, but I really think of it as delay. It's like an echo. Right, so I'm gonna call it echo. They call it reverb. Then it also has, let's turn the reverb off, it has chorus. So there's a chorus. Okay, chorus, and then overdrive. You can turn that delay on too. There is no volume control on this amplifier. So it, you plug it in and that's the volume you get, what you just heard. The volume I think is a very comfortable volume. It's definitely a late night practice volume. It could be just a hair too loud if it's if everybody's sleeping, you know, and you don't want to disturb them or if you're in a hotel room and you're trying not to disturb anybody in the room. Uh, but, but overall, like if I was gonna set a perfect practice volume, it's this. I really wish it had a volume control. You have to use the volume on your amp, on your guitar, and of course on the overdrive, as you turn it down, you're getting less distortion. So that's a feature there. The other, other feature I wish it had was I wish it had a headphone out, because uh, then I don't even have to worry about that. I can just plug it right into my headphone jack and, and, and do that. But I don't think that's what they're going after with this. I think what they're going after is just the kind of like, hey, you take it, you stick it on your guitar, and you kind of rock out. <laughs> So the next guitar gadget is called the slide winder and there's quite a few of them and these are truly unique because they're basically jewelry made by hand. So the slide winder is a finger slide that has a couple unique ideas. So first off, it's obviously designed to be more like a jewelry piece, uh, whether it's like a Southwestern feel or a more of a kind of a rock, a Gothic rock feel. Um, there's all kinds of styles that they make. Definitely all done by hand. This is actually made in the USA by hand. And the unique feature is the slide itself. Now it serves two purposes. First is, as you can see, I have the slide winder on my finger now, and I can make the G chord, the C chord, the F chord, and uh, it's not blocking me at all. But you can find a little ring slide to do that too. That's not unique. What's unique about this is it uses uh, a magnet. So there's a magnet on this. Now, the reason that's important is sometimes if you're not gonna use slide very often, maybe just in one song or one little section, uh, what you're gonna find is a problem is that if your action's really low, when you go to slide, you push the strings against the frets and it doesn't sound right. Usually you want your action to be a little high for a slide. Well, because this has a magnet, when it touches the string, it immediately grabs onto the string. So you feel like you don't even have to push on it at all. You're just gonna lightly come on top of it. Now next we have the bird cord. The bird cord is a really cool device. Basically it's a USB to nine volt converter cable. It's just a basic cable that takes a standard USB 
and lets it go to the cable you need to plug in your pedals. So why would you want to do that? Well, let's say uh, you have one of these handy dandy batteries that will power any cell phone or tablet. Well, you can plug this in like so. And now power your pedal. A battery like this, uh, which I think is 3,500 milliamps, this will power up to eight pedals or more. But more importantly, let's say you're in a situation where you're uh, without a power supply. This happened to me twice last year, by the way. I was in a hotel room uh, traveling, and one place I bought a pedal, another place somebody gave me a pedal. And when I got back to the hotel room, I had a little micro amp, I had my guitar, um, I had cables, but I had no way to power the pedal because like pedals like this, they don't take nine volt batteries. And I didn't think to take my normal wall wart power supply for pedals. Well, with a cable like this, now I can take any power supply, the USB out on my laptop, and power pedals with it. Here's another great example. This is my Roland Cube. I've had this for almost 11 years. It is powered by six AA batteries. Now, what I love about this amp is that even though it takes a bazillion batteries, it runs forever. I can run months on these batteries. I take it, it's beautifully, beautifully bulletproof. And I can take it anywhere and run music and whatever I want through it. Now, in this case, if the batteries go dead, I have to find more batteries. But now I could use my charger like this, my cell phone charger, battery power, and go ahead and plug in the back, turn it on, and voila, we have full power right off this. So now you have power anywhere you go. This cable is very convenient and easy. I'm really impressed. Now the next device is by Hosa and it's a Bluetooth unit. Basically the size of a 50 cent piece and it's kind of like a paperweight. It's kind of heavy, which is nice. So what it does, is it takes anything that's Bluetooth compatible, your phone, a tablet, you name it, and it allows it to sync up within seconds. No app required, no nothing. As soon as you turn this device on, if you're using your phone, a droid, uh, uh, an iPhone, it'll immediately detect this and say, hey, do you want to connect to the Hosa device? Say yes. And now you're streaming music, sound from your tablet, device, you name it, into this unit. Now, it comes with a USB cable and it's rechargeable, so you just charge it up. You place it on top of an amplifier and you run an eighth inch cable into your auxiliary in on, let's say, you know, your Katana or any other amp that you want to. And if you're like me and you use a, like an old style tube amp, there's no way to put your favorite backing tracks along with your guitar playing. So what I do is I put this on top of my Fender Princeton and I run it into the second input. And what's nice about that is the typical second input on a Fender style amp uh, is going to be padded by 10 decibels, which makes it perfect for playing music through it. Now, granted, if you're running reverb or tremolo or anything on the amp, that music is going to be played through that as well. It's not like an auxiliary end where it's a separate source, okay? This is shared source with the guitar. But what's nice is I can use like my little bird cord uh, with a battery power into a quick pedal and get my overdrive sound. I'm using my Lawrence Petros uh, 68 drive. So I'm just running that in front of the amp. So the amp is running clean, but I'm running just a little bit of gain. So what I do is I can go to YouTube and pull down any free backing track. So I, right now I'm using the uh, blues backing track in E. Go ahead and push play. And now you have a backing track coming through your tube amplifier. So I can use my phone to mix the sound by turning it down, or I can turn it back up. And with this ability, I can mix in a good sound with the guitar. Another good use for this would be if you're a gigging musician. If you're playing a local bar, a pub, and you need to run some music in between sets, a lot of times you'll bring a phone or some kind of audio device to run it through the PA. But you're leaving that device exposed. With this unit, what you can do is plug it right into the PA system and stream that via Bluetooth from your phone in your own pocket. So you don't have to worry about anybody doing anything to your phone or your tablet. The other thing I love about this is I've had it for many months now and I've never recharged it. And it's mostly because as soon as you're not using it, within a minute or so, the device will recognize no audio is coming in and it turns itself off. So it's a really impressive device, especially for the under $50 range. I thought it was really cool and worth checking out. 
This last device is the Soundbrenner. Now the Soundbrenner is a vibrating smart metronome that allows you to use a metronome in a lot of places where it's either impossible to use a metronome or places where um, it could actually help a whole lot. Let me give you an example. So it's a metronome that adheres to a watch band, so you can put it around your wrist. It also comes with an ankle band, so you can put it around your ankle as well. Or if you'd like, you can purchase the uh, chest and shoulder band that allows you to add the device there. The device basically pops in and out. It looks just like that. It includes a docking port that allows you to charge the rechargeable battery that's in here. So how does it work? So it comes with an app. You can download the app once you purchase the product and the app allows you to set your beats. Also download set lists. So if you have set lists of songs for your band and what it will do is also let you change not only the vibration, the pulse, but also the color. So you can change that as well. This is really important if you're using in-ear monitors, even in a small gig. If your in-ear monitors fail, this will still keep the tempo that the band set to. So at least you'll know what tempo you're still playing to. It works if you have wedge monitors as well. If you can't hear yourself or the band, at least you know what the tempo is being played at. It also can be synced to your DAW, so it's great for recording, but more importantly, it's a nice way to keep time if you're just sick of listening to a click track or to that wood block sound. This is really nice. And with the app, you can add that back in as well. At home use, it works really great as well because sometimes when you're practicing, those metronomes can really make the other people in the home crazy. So you can keep it to yourself with using the vibration and the light. And that was another cool feature I liked as well. Well, there you go. Five cool gadgets you might have not known about. I want to point out for the sake of transparency, I am not endorsed, sponsored, or affiliated with any of these companies. But I do want to say that all these companies did send me these products for free so I could make this video. And again, I want to thank them for that because without them, I couldn't have made a video like this. And as always, I want to thank all of you for subscribing and uh, buying merchandise and supporting the channel. Uh, it definitely makes a difference. It's what makes this channel stay alive every single week. And until next week, I want to thank you for your time and know your gear. Yeah.